Hey band, um, hope everyone's doing fantastically. Uh, this is a quick um, video about how to use smart music and I kind of want to point out some really cool stuff that's going on in here. Um, if things seem like they're too difficult, there might be a few features in here that you can learn about that will really help you out. So um, earlier I sent out the Tempest. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click start on that, okay? So click start here, it's gonna ask you your instrument. If you are a clarinet, you are likely a B-flat clarinet. If you're a tenor saxophone, you're a B-flat tenor saxophone, and if you're a trumpet, you're a B-flat trumpet. Uh, when in doubt, go for the B-flats, um, except for if you're an alto saxophone, you're an E-flat alto saxophone. I don't think there's any other option in here. Um, and then, but I'm gonna be my trombone player, so I'm gonna click on trombone. So click on trombone, we're gonna click OK. And then it's gonna open up this thing. And it's gonna ask, hey, Smart Music wants to use your microphone. Uh, yes, we're going to allow that because Smart Music uses our microphone in order to assist us in learning. So um, there's some really cool stuff. Okay, so instructions for your assignment tells you the rubric and the assessment grade. And then I could close. And then um, there's some really cool stuff in here. Notice we have all the music that's in here for The Tempest. And what it's going to allow you to do is when you press play, it'll play the accompaniment and it'll play along with you. But I think the really cool stuff um, is actually up over here. All this stuff up over here. Like for instance, if it's really confusing hearing the accompaniment, you should turn off the accompaniment. This little like orange accompaniment thing. Accompaniment is the rest of the band playing. You could even turn that down. If you want to hear your part a little bit more clearly, you could turn on your part and play along with it. Uh, this here is the tempo, and 136 is the you know the how fast it's supposed to be. Um, looks like with energy here, so you can slow it down or speed it up. Or if you can't even remember what the original number is, you can reset the tempo back to the original one. Um, kind of neat thing where we can calibrate our microphone. I have no idea if this is going to work, uh, but I'm going to test, 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 and you may have some trouble with this. So um, test, 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 test your microphone. Testing the microphone, testing the microphone. Now this may take a couple time, uh, take a couple times to get it to really, really work. Um, but if, if you keep on having trouble, plug things in, unplug things in. I have a feeling this is not working because I'm recording a video at this moment. Um, I wonder how we get out of this thing. I think I'm kind of like stuck. How do we get out of here? Maybe I can just reload. Can I just reload the page? Yeah, so um, if you're still having trouble with your microphone, uh, reach out to me and let me know. Uh, we'll see if we can do a couple things. Um, I've been finding that most people's microphones uh, will work. Okay, and then it also tells you this little thing is called a count off because when you press play, it's gonna do a little count off and it's gonna like click, click, click and it's gonna start playing. which I think is particularly helpful. And look at this, it tells you where the music is. I think, what, what a great learning thing. You can have more um, count offs um, if you like. Don't worry about the swing thing up over here. And this metronome is the sound of the click. You can, I suppose, turn that off if you really wanted to. You can turn it up a little bit. You can turn it down a little bit. All right, guys, well, um, I think that kind of concludes our quick little video here uh, about how to use uh, smart music. Best of luck, guys. Please reach out to me um, if you're having any difficulties. And um, this is going to be something we're going to be using quite a bit. You know, uh, it's a, it actually tracks your minutes that's on the website. So the more you work on here, the more minutes that you log in. And um, I'll be able to see that and also, also be seeing how accurate you are with the various pieces. So um, if you're playing it and it shows up as all green notes that's the good thing if it's showing up as red notes either something's terribly wrong or um well man maybe you need to practice it a few more times kind of depends all right guys in the meantime happy practicing 
and reach out to me if you guys have any questions.